Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Angela, of course, and it's Tuesday, I think. <laughs> so welcome back to my channel. Right, I thought I would start off by saying um, a very warm welcome to all my new subscribers and of course all my long-standing amazing encouraging and supportive existing subscribers you guys are amazing and i really mean that thank you for all the support you give me now um i had one or two questions from some of you asking me where or how i would use the little insert that i made in the last video so that's why i've got my journal here um, I just wanted to show you quickly. It's not finished yet. Obviously, we're still busy um, This is where I this is my first signature um, And this is where I'm going to put my insert so it's going to be over here But of course if you wanted to put it anywhere in the journal you could put it anywhere so for example if you wanted to put it in between pages you could do that as well All right so I think what I was going to do is, I quite liked it against the turquoise, the aqua shades. I thought I'm going to put it in the middle there and then I'll stitch it um, through when I stitch through the signature. All right, so that's what I'm going to do with that. Um, and that's all I needed to show you with regards to that. Now today we're going to do a little project in the second signature. So I'm going to go into this one here. And... Um, yeah, so I have gone just before the halfway mark. So you've got this lacy page like that. And then that's the page in the middle. I'm going to do a little project on this page. So I'm going to take that out there, this lacy page out. Oh, it's got something in the back. That's okay. We're going to take that out. I'm going to close that up again. I've got my little ruler there just to, so I know where it goes. And I'm going to close that all. You can see at this point, things are looking pretty flat at the moment, but then we have got our big spine. I'm going to just put that to the side there. And that's what we're going to work on. So let me talk to you about what we're going to do today. I was having a lovely afternoon, well, morning really, playing around with my templates. And I was, <laughs> I was going to do something with book pages. So I started off doing that. But I thought I'd leave this for Friday's video because I got, you know, you start with one idea and you end up with something completely different. That's just how it works with me. I never know myself what I'm doing. So um, I had a lot of loose book pages and I thought uh, I would do some mass make ideas. So I started off <laughs> with that, but I'll share that with you on Friday. Okay. So today we're going to uh, talk about making a little exciting envelope template um, project which turned out really very pretty the way I've marked it up so I've taken it all apart now to show you how I'm going to do that so let me talk to you about what you need and then you can go off and gather those goodies I've got my templates here this is my exciting envelope templates so you've I put these onto card so I've got envelope one two and three so I'm going to use those you can get these in my shop Etsy or my website they're very reasonable um, and this is what they look like you get paper that looks like this you cut them out I've mounted mine onto I think this is a cereal box um, and cut it out and it makes making envelopes super quick all right so I'm going to use all three of those for this project um, what you do is you take your piece of uh, your your template just use this page as an example you place it onto your paper you draw around it with your pencil and then you cut out the shape that remains. These are your score lines for fold lines. So you, it's easy because it's where these meet. So that's what you do. It's as easy as that. So that can go back where we need it. And um, you want to grab those. Okay. So I have cut out with envelope three. I've cut out um, this shape. So you can see that goes on there. All right. So I've cut out one of those. In that background page you can use any paper you have it doesn't matter um, then I've used envelope 2 and I've cut out this shape with this background piece this is all from the baking bliss journal pages um, and then for the last one the big one envelope 1 I have cut out using the big journal page uh, the one with a little lantern on it. So that's what I've got there. All right. So I've scored all the lines and saved you all the time of watching me do that because I like to keep these around 30 minutes. 
Um, so I've cut those out and then all that room, um, you need to do is score and fold the lines. All right, so I've done that. So that's what you need, those papers. Then uh, the other stuff you need is a couple of bits of ephemera. I've just grabbed a couple of tags and things. I'm not quite sure which ones I'm going to put in there yet, but it will be a large tag and a few bits. I'll share that with you when we get closer to the time. And then um, I've taken a piece, a scrap bit that I used for the other day for the... Um, cream lace paper i've just cut a square there this one is about three by three inches all right i've taken a piece of paper like this and i've made a pocket you'll see where that goes so a bit of background paper we made this when we were making scrappy edges so i've just um, taken one of the ones i made on the video i'm going to use that i've got uh, four different die cuts here different colors Use what you have. If you don't have die cuts, fussy cut some flowers. Um, even from the kit, there's loads. Um, so I've got four of those. I've taken two of my little sentiments. Uh, two pieces of lace. There you go. Little scrappy bits that I had. I've got a pink and a cream. You don't need to have two. One will suffice. Um, and this is just one of my little elements from the background page, the, the teacup, the cappuccino I've cut out. Then I've cut, fussy cut out from the actual journal pages. This is from the background page with all the roses on that looks. I've got a, a piece of it like this, this ephemera bit. I've cut out one of those. Um, and then I cut this out from one of the framed pages. So the satchel with the book and everything, I've cut that out. Um, then this is from um, the other side of the page, this page. So this bit was over here. So I've cut that out as well. All right, so that's what I've done. I've got those fussy cuts there. I'm gonna use these um, in our escapades today. All right, so let me put that to the side. Just need your glue, your scissors. Um, I might be using a little scrappy bit just for the edge, which I'm not sure, we'll, we'll see what that is. So just get your scrap paper scraps out um, because we'll probably need to grab a little piece there for when we're attaching it to the book page. All right, so we're gonna get started. So we have cut out our bits like this. I just want to assemble those first of all. So I'm going to start with a small one. You want to fold those all in. Now, this is the flap that we're going to attach it to, to the next one with. Um, this flap at the top, um, one of these, you want to make sure that you stick that down. All right, so there's that. Now, I'm just trying to think it goes this way. So we want the flap on the left like that. All right, so you want to stick down one of these. So let's do that. I hope I've got it the right way. But at this point, as long as one of them are down, we're all right. Okay, then let's go back to the bottom here. So we've got this one like this. Uh, the flaps on the left here. You want to stick this top of the lantern that bit down because we're going to make a pocket on the outside. So that's why I'm doing that. It really is so easy when you use these templates and a great idea. And that's why I was cutting out these um, ones from book pages. Um, a great mass make to make loads of these. All right, so we'll do a little project with that on Friday. Right, so leave the other one. We've got that one down. You've got this coming across here. And then what I want to do is, I'm just going to um, distress the edge there a little bit. All right, so you got that one down there. This one we're going to leave. You want to turn that one up and you want to stick some glue down there. So put some glue on this bottom one, like that. And then you want to just take the glue and run a bead of glue close to the edge there like that all right so let's keep that down and like that like this don't worry about that i've got a plan all right so you've got your little pocket in there now all right that 
one is good to go. So that one's going to be like this. Then you've got this middle one as well. Um, we want to take, keep the flap on the left here, the same as this one, I think. I'm, I'm going to leave that one for last so I can see what I'm doing. All right, so what we want to do is we want to take the, the top flap with the, this left flap, um, stick this one down. Ooh, something fell off my glue bottle. What was that? There's something about the dangers of, of it. <laughs> yeah, it's quite scary, some of the dangers on, on the glue. Right, so we've got the top one stuck down. So again, let's take the bottom one there and get some glue on there like that. And then again, put it on the end there. Okay, and then we can just fold that like that. Okay. Yeah, we need to stick this one now. All right, that's the only one I haven't stuck the base to. Now, it's not exactly how I had it before. Uh, somewhere I've done something I did a little bit differently, but it, it, the principle is pretty much the same. So I'm not worrying about it too much. All right, let's get that down there and that across there. And there we go. We've got our pocket at the top. And that's great. That's sticking. Yeah. We've got a pocket over here that we will put that around. And we've got a flap on that side. And I'm going to put these on that side like that. Yeah. All right, guys. So we've got everything stuck down, ready to go. Sorry about my faffing. Now what I want to do is I want to decorate these one by one. And then we're going to similar assemble them all together and put them into our box. All right. Let's start with this one okay so this one make sure your pockets at the top we've got this one here this is where the bits of lace come into play so i'm going to just turn the flap down there so i can gauge it now you can put one or two pieces i'm not sure if i'm going to put one or two but um i'm just getting my fabric tack ready there I, I had the idea of putting both but of course you want to just see where you are as far as um that's concerned so uh, it will extend beyond the edge of your envelope and that's all right so I think yeah I will put both on okay so just a lot of checking isn't there right so open that up so it lies nice and flat and then you want to grab your glue that you can use for fabric um, mine is the beacon three in one in this one and then I'm going to just make sure i've got this the right way that's the right way so before i do that right so we'll stick this on the bottom here of our envelope and this one we're going to make a little pocket on the outside as well so that's my plan with this one so i just want to get enough glue here and it's going to just you know hang over the edge a little bit which i quite like so don't get it past your fold line there and then just move this up a bit oh i've got it a bit skew okay that looks a bit better right and then i'm going to take this piece and just put it over a little bit um but what i want to do is grab my little pocket thing so from my fussy cut from that the lantern page I've got this that was that way I'm turning it this way um, and I'm going to end up sticking it on there but I don't want to stick it over the roses so I will be sticking down this piece of lace first I think so let's just get some more glue um, onto our page our little envelope here the good thing about the beacon is that you can actually you know, you've got time to make these choices, these decisions, if things aren't quite how they should be. I think that's about right. Okay, let's leave that like that. So now I can just take my scissors and just line that up there quickly. I might use that, but right. So I'm happy with that. I must tell you, I had the most 
dramatic day yesterday with the wind because we've got pretty much gale force wind here yesterday which was quite unnerving and um i was sitting here in my craft room all relaxed ready to you know do what i had to do and the next thing i have a gazebo in the um garden which is sort of an inexpensive thing that you buy at the store just to cover up um where you want to sit and things in the garden so it's not big it's about three meters by four meters um but of course it's got poles and it attaches through like 10 pegs into the the, gr the ground which my son put up for me and we don't take it down in winter um because it's quite a thing to put it up which is a mistake i've realized <laughs> right i'm going to try and glue this um, along the bottom edge here while I talk to you um, so that we can have our little pocket like that okay so um, yes so what happened the wind's blowing a gale and the next thing I see the whole gazebo fly up in the air I mean I'm on not on the ground floor here I'm on the first floor you know I was mortified it was flying away like it was a sail on a boat and I thought oh my gosh I ran downstairs in an absolute panic I thought oh it's gonna land on the neighbors and we have a neighbor on the side of me here that's not very nice um so I thought no I can't have that so I ran outside and it's raining and it's blowing a gale and it's just a nightmare scenario and I had to stand in the mud i had mud all over me long story short i eventually did get it to um come back <laughs> into my garden and oh, managed to secure it to the ground with um some big boulders and um well big enough for me to lift but you know when you are doing something um under stress it's amazing what you can do i wasn't able to lift the leg over the six foot wall that had gone into the neighbor's garden oh my gosh um luckily it did no damage or anything but um i lifted the six foot um leg over the six foot wall and i don't know how i did it but i think i was panicking and you know that adrenaline oh gosh i was mortified anyway right we've got our little um pocket over here now so that looks really cute and we've got our pocket over there as well so that's the first one now we can stick that onto this one here so this is going to go round the edge there now i just want to see what it is that i'm covering um and you could actually make this a little tuck spot uh, so let's do that i'm going to just put some glue uh, just on this side and here and then I want to make sure it's not too close so I'm going to turn this down like that yeah okay now you've got a little tuck spot over here um, I think I'm going to just put some glue on this bit as well That wasn't a good move was it right we, we're gonna stick it down i've now not made it a tuck spot but it doesn't matter we're putting another one over there in shortly okay so we've got that in place and then um this is now opening up like that okay so it's it's coming together slowly but surely um my lace is beautifully straight you can see <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh it's not working out too well today is it right i'm going to put my little pocket on the back of this one here so um and i've also taken the smaller fussy cut here uh, from that page and i was going to put that over the edge like this so yeah below the pocket line okay so i'm going to hold it on the side that i don't want um glued you know because you know I'm, I'm getting it all wrong today um yeah so that was the gazebo when i finished with that i was full of mud 
from the top to the bottom of me. My shoes, my trousers, my top, everything, my face, my hands, everything, I was covered. It must have been a sight. If anybody was watching me, they would have been rolling on the floor. Honestly, they would have. But I didn't, at the time, I didn't find it funny. But I did think to myself, gosh, if somebody's watching me now, this must be an absolute spectacle. But yes, I got it right. Um, with that being said, the weather's a lot better today. And I actually managed to get two loads of washing outside. I'm very proud of myself um to dry i did peg it all down even on the i've got it on the on the um the washing line and i've taken my sort of clothes dryer and i've pegged it on there because it is still it's picked up wasn't there was no in no um sign of any um anything this morning as far as um wind was concerned but this afternoon it's been a nightmare right we've got a little pocket on that side as well we're not going to put anything on here because i quite like it as it is i might put a sentiment that's where one of them might go so we've got that one done there and when i've stuck that bit down then this should lie pretty flat so i'm quite happy with that now i've got this little one here which I, I really wanted to attach on that side, but I can't really, so just as well. We're going to attach it also on this side here and just trying to position it so I've got some of my um, flowers and things poking out. So we're going to get it so we've got just a little bit of lace poking out there at the bottom. Okay, so let's get that stuck on. And I'm not going to worry about making it a tuck spot because I've messed that one up now uh, <laughs> completely. So that's all right. All right, so we've got that going on there now. So what I want to do here is also not too difficult. I'm going to start with the back. On the back, I've got this little bit where I wanted to make a little writing spot. So, I mean, you could write on there, but I like to um, do it this way. You know, if you've got a black pen, you can write on pretty much any surface. But yeah, we've got to, you know, add to it. So this is me adding my little writing spots. Right, so we've got that there. And then I've got my little cappuccino and I had a little pink die cut if I can loosen it there and I thought I would just um, attach this over there let's do it this way um, yeah there and then there and then that would finish that off so let's get that done all right so there you go I've just stuck those on so a nice little spot just to make a few memories now I'm talking about memories and storing them I thought that um, you know with us doing a book lovers journal I had a lovely message from Mary on Instagram who shared with me something which I thought was a fabulous idea for this journal and that is um, especially with the bits that I made in the last um, pouch pocket thing that we did with a one page pocket Mary said that she thought it would be a great spot um, to review the, your favorite books and to make some notes and write down the memories you have about those favorite books which is just amazing I do have a lot of favorite books so thank you so much Mary for sharing that that was a great idea this is me fixing my faux pas here and trying to make it look great on the underside <laughs> So, just taking one of these little sentiments. It's definitely cozy season, isn't it? All the cakes and the books and all sorts. Right, so there we go. That's going to be fine. Now we've got that done, that done, that done. We're happy with that. I'm going to stick on a little sentiment once upon a time. Gosh, do you remember telling your children stories? when they were going to bed, um, starting once upon a time. My daughter Paige used to say, and I still say to her, once upon a time. She used to say once upon a time, and I used to think it was adorable. 
Right, where do we want that? Once upon a time, we want it here. Right, so it's going there. Okay, we've got, I'm just checking, I've got the pockets in the places I want them. Right, and then um, I think this one was going to go on this page here, is it? I think that's too much, so I'm going to leave that one for the moment. Right, I think we've got enough quotes. Um, yeah, so just want to decorate the front now. So, yeah, I am going to take this fussy cut. I'm going to put it on the front there. And then I had these three little die cuts, which I'm going to... Uh, it's like a lilac, a nice aqua, and this lovely purple shade. And we are going to get this there, but then I want to just go and fit these in over here. So I think I was going to have these lap over a little bit and pick up on the shades over there. So yeah, that one's going to go something like this. This one is going to do something like that. And then this one's going to go in the middle. Right, so let's start off with this one. Right, we've got that there. I'm going to chop this bit off the base. Let me just grab these small scissors. Okay, we don't want you there. All right, so I cut off the rest of that one and I've just stuck it there because this is going to go over. You can see it's poking over the edge, which I quite like. I quite like that sort of thing. Now, you don't want to get this edge um, beyond there because this needs to lift up so that that needs to come over a little bit so I just want to give this a little bit of distressing just to sort of define the edges a little bit more so I quite like this little satchel so we might need to just make sure of that flower so yeah it's going to go like that okay let's get it down yeah, so I had lots of fun sitting here today, um, just watching the wheel go by. But as I said, the the wind is still blowing and I had to peg the washing on the air dryer, you know, because I put it all outside the clothes horse, as I would call it, but, you know, clothes dry. Um, so, yeah, I'm just waiting to see us <laughs> if any, any of my clothing is going to be flying anywhere. You know, I don't know if any of you have had any bad experiences where you've had to collect your underwear from the neighborhood's garden or something like that. Oh, gosh, I'd just die. I would. That would be so embarrassing. Luckily, I don't have any knickers or anything outside. It's pegged firmly on the line around the corner. Yeah, I think that wouldn't go bode well with me. Right, um, there we go. I've got all of that there. So we've got our little goodies all sort of layered up. So that's really cute. Um, and now we want to just put in our little bits. Now, this bit over here, as I said to you, um, I, I'm going to take this strip and I'm going to put it over here because I thought that would sort of finish that off. And I quite like how it's all come together now over here. You know, when I was um at school and at college and things um i went to college for a bit when i was doing learning how to sew um i don't know why i wanted to take a class because i sort of taught myself but i did actually and um the lady used to say and my mother was the same it's got to look as good on the underside as it does on the top so even the underneath has to be or the inside has to look as good as the outside yeah that to put pressure that looks really cute there okay so there we go got all our bits going on there cute right this is going to end up going on our page and i'm going to um stick it down first now that's the page that I'm going to put it on over here and um, I'm going to take this flap here and stick it down. That's going to house the whole thing. So we want to just get our glue on there. All right, so let's just open this up. That was our other book page project. All right, so I want to get that. 
um, like that. Okay. And then you can get it done. And of course it is white like that. So what I did was I thought I would take a couple of my scrappy bits and just make a little tuck spot here so you could always um you know it doesn't have to be a tuck spot but at least it's going to just sort of finish it off and i don't want to see a white space you can just cover that bit um on the underside it's all up to you so i've just taken some scraps from the scrap tray there and i was saying to um one of you the other day one of the messages I sort of challenge myself to make sure I have as few scraps left at the end of a project as possible. So I do go and make piles of, um, you always see me make all the page edge strips and all sorts of things um, to add to decorate the pages. And it's me trying to use up as much as possible so I have very little remaining. So yeah, it's a challenge. <laughs> And I know when I did the baking journals, which I need, I've got three more to finish. Um, it, I had so little left. It was quite, I was looking for things to use. So yeah, it is, I quite like the challenge of using it all up in different ways. Putting them in front of me and trying to come up with ideas is really what, um, is so exciting. Yeah. Right, so we're going to just put this on top here, and like that, so there we go. And then, like always, you want something on there, so I've, I've just taken these quickly. I don't know which one I'm going to use. They're the same, but different colours. I think I'm just going to make it pretty pale and put that one on. So let's do that, and then we're pretty much done. Might stick the sentiment on, I don't know. Right, so we just want to get that stuck on there okay um want to get that on here but i think i'll have to trim this a little bit more that's okay better yeah that'll fit better and then i'm gonna just run this inker ink dauber in there just in case i miss some of the white bits and then is that gonna lie flattish pretty much okay so i'm not going to i'm going to make this a tuck spot so i'm going to <laughs> get my get it right this time so we want to go there and then along this side and at the top yeah okay so just enough space just to be able to tuck something in there and not too close to the edge of your fold line okay so you can tuck something in there now all right do we want anything else on there no we're all right okay so we can close that all up now We've got that there, that there, that there. Okay, and then all we need to do is put in some ephemera and then we're done. So let's find something. Let's start at the back. I'm, I'm going to use this large tag for the pocket at the back here. Right, so that's going to go into the back there. Then we want to put something in here and I, I did plan on putting this on. So I've just taken some of that background paper um, folded it right round and stuck on a, a, one of the bigger quotes. We lose ourselves in books. We find ourselves there too. That is so true. So that I'm going to put into that one like that and go a bit further down. And then we want to put something in the front here as well. So I thought I'd use just one of these smaller ones, probably this one. Or let's take the little girl reading a book because that's lovely. These came from my mini journal, so that's all right. Um, oh, I have this one with a little bit of a ribbon, but that's going to be too long for there. So I thought there's our little writing spot. Um, will this fit in there? 
all this one that's better and then we can just stick um these in that one in there i think that's fine i don't need all of these right and these can go for another time so that can go there so there we have it how cute is that oh look at the sun's coming out across the face isn't that amazing nice and warm i'm gonna go and have a nice cup of tea and two of my favorite jaffa cakes and if you don't know what that is it's like a spongy biscuit base with orange um, jelly and dark chocolate on the top and they're really lush so that's what i'm gonna go and have tea because it's um tea time four o'clock ish <laughs> not tea dinner time right so there we have it that's like that it's gonna close like this it's gonna got all these options to write i don't know if i want to put a smaller one in there i think i'm gonna put this one in here i don't want it sticking out so i'm gonna put the smaller one in there there we go that's better um there we go and that one's meant to stick out because of the ribbon there we have it i think i'm gonna go put a little book on there and that'll lie nice and flat all right everyone Thank you so much for watching. We can go and put this back in our book, which we will do. Go and have a lovely uh, rest of the week. I'm going to see you with a little book page project on Friday. I've got an idea. Just want to use up a lot of book page projects in here because it is about books. So that's why I am doing that. Um, so I hope you'll join me on Friday. Go and take good care of yourselves. And until then, bye-bye. What are you doing, Abs? Look here. Can I have your toy? Can I have it? No. Do you want to share? Hmm? Do you want to share? Do you want to share that toy? Give it to me. Please? Give me your paw. Ah, can I have your paw? Can I not have your toy? Give me the toy. Please? Share with mum. Take it out your mouth. Do you want a chicken? Do you want some chicken? Oh, not today. Maybe tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. Be a good girl.